Your boys are making moves this week. We, uh, you know, we found out exactly a week beforehand that Starland Ballroom and, and Tech Nine show was canceled. So we weren't about to lay there dead. We just started hustling and making moves to throw our own show. We hit up Water for Mars. They were also supposed to open for Tech Nine at Starland Ballroom. They came out and did their thing. It was incredible. The day before the show, we were trying to contact Damian Rucci, who's this fire poet from Keyport, and he came up there and just did his thing. Trying to get in contact with the boy Damian Rucci. I'm doing like social media stuff, pictures, and Nico's down here trying to hang up a banner. With hangers? Give it a hip hop. You don't really want to get into a pissing match with this rabbit backpack. With hangers? Mm -hmm. We spent uh, many hours the night before trying to figure out how to set up like this whole big orchestration of Facebook Live. Um, and then we were going to set it up at the show so we could, you know, go live from the set. Prior to the show, I closed the door in my room as I was walking out of it and the door locked behind me. So then we spent like 20 minutes trying to unlock and open my door. I actually took the door handle off the door to get in. <laughs> This is good timing, bro. Don't worry, we don't have a show in an hour. You didn't Ellen, get what they asked for. They said like they 30 million. They gave him nuggets, though, because Ellen's tweet was the most tweeted tweet, like 3.7 million. And he beat million, it. And he beat it by like 100,000, <laughs> yeah. and they were like, fine, fuck we, it. We all helped him. He owes us yeah, each oh, a nugget. I did too, I did too. He, he owes, owes us each, each a, a fucking nugget. nugget. At least a four piece. Come on, bro, a four piece. We got there a few minutes later than we planned on, and people are already showing up before we even started setting up the whole thing, so. The show was incredible. It was incredible because we sold a ton of tickets to the show at Starland and almost all of the people who bought tickets to that ended up coming to the show at Red Bank. And we packed like 50 people into this really tiny room and it was so special. Uh, Red Bank Studios did lighting and sound for us. Like it just came together in a week. It was absolutely incredible and um, it was just we were so impressed with ourselves to know that we could make that happen like that. Alright, I need you to be way louder than you just were for the opening tonight. Hey, man, fucking out! What's up guys? I know you guys want to see a part project. We have to put up, man, I read really nice, quiet, love poetry, so you guys keep quiet. <laughs> I jerked off at a church once. <laughs> Not in a church, no, I'm a gentleman. Was outside on the park bench in memory of some old bastard who I never knew. To have everybody there and the feeling of the show was incredible. Damien did an awesome job of breaking the ice. Just broke thanks to the court of blueberry vodka I chased down with beer. And water from Mars killed their son. the most important show of our lives canceled on us and it was fucking painful trust me but it means so much to us that all the people that were going to be there showed up in this room so i would rather be surrounded by 50 of you than a thousand of anybody else yeah! Yeah.
What's up guys, it's Neeks from The Empire Project. Listen, if you're digging what me and Kyle are doing, you can like us on Facebook or subscribe to us on YouTube. There will always be links in the video info. Peace and love, y'all.